Well, well, well. <laughs> you guys are thirsty. We came back for some more knowledge on how to save. Now, this video is all about what type of savings accounts you should have. Let's just say there are eight of them. But before we dive into that, y'all guys know what it's time for. No, no, not Adventure Time. Theme music. Do not forget to go to my Facebook, my Twitters, my Instagrammies, and the platform you're on now, YouTube or Patreon, if you want to donate a little. And uh, make sure you subscribe, like, follow, all of that stuff. Comment below. Okay, so what are the eight savings accounts you need to have? And yes, I know the struggle is real. I know I've struggled. I've also had these savings accounts and they all been zero or some have been zero and then some had $5 in them. But that's not the point. The point is, is that you have them, you're aware of them, and you're actively always trying to get money into the accounts. That's what's important. Now, the eight accounts I'm talking about is one, emergency account. Every single one of us, if you're not born into wealth, has needed money in a pinch and you don't want to ask somebody, you don't want to borrow, take out a loan, get a credit card. We've all been there. This is why you need to always actively always be trying to have an emergency account. Even if it's just like $5 every single paycheck, it's still worth it to have it. Business account. Now, having this is very crucial for you to actually keep growing as a person so you're not always stuck at where you are. Even if you don't know what to do with it yet, still always actively be trying to put money into it. Whether you dream about opening your own salon or you dream about, I don't know, buying houses and fixing them up and reselling them, whatever your dream is, just put money into it. Even if you don't know how to do it yet, just know that you have it there. It could be $1 for three months. Doesn't matter. You still have it in your head. You need to keep putting money into this account. Now, this business saving account pretty much is an account where you only should touch it if you're going to use that money to make you more money. If you're going to use this money to go drinks with your friends, just don't have drinks with your friends that day, that weekend. Just don't do it. This specific savings account is just so you can level up in life. Plain and simple. Hey guys, real quick, come and check out my Patreon. I have specialized tiers for both my main channel, Shantae Did A Thing, with all my travel content, with specialized tiers for my second channel, my commentary channel, Shantae Said A Thing. So if you would like to support either channel, definitely head on over and check me out. I update regularly in both tiers, so definitely head on and check out what you want me to do next. Now this next account is the fun one. This is for travels, trips, events, concerts, pretty much anywhere that you really want to go and just enjoy life for what it is. You're not always thinking about paying bills and just surviving. So that's pretty much what that's for. So if you want to go to that Beyonce concert, you want to go see Drake or anybody else, just put money into this. $10 every paycheck, 15 sometime. Maybe you did overtime this week, put 30 in this week. Whatever it is, constantly always keep putting money into this account so that you can actually see why you're saving. So throughout all your struggles that you have in life, at least you can always look forward to this one day or this one weekend or this one week of just blissful happiness. Like, you know what I mean? Health. I know, that's a big one for a lot of people. Depending on where you live, you either have really good health care, not so great health care, or it's just non-existent and kind of trash. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to go into the politics of that. Just know that you should always try to have a health savings account. So for that prescription that maybe your co pays $15, $2, maybe it's free for certain things, whatever it is, whatever your situation is, you should always attempt to have some kind of medical emergency account. Even if you just get sick and you know for a fact you just need over-the-counter medicine, you're just like, this $8 for this, I, don't, I can't really afford to spend $8. 
even though it's just eight dollars but still it's always nice to be like oh you're good you have this one specific card that's geared towards that one specific thing so that way when you do get sick randomly or you can't work for a day, or so you don't have to work for that day, you know that the money you would have made, I don't know, maybe it's a hundred bucks that day or 200 bucks. Hey, you got 300 in your savings account specifically geared towards your health. You know you can make that money up and you're covered. That's all I'm saying. Now, the next savings is the big R, retirement. Now, I know most of us don't really think about retirement because we're thinking about today and how to survive now, but we really should be thinking about this. In my personal opinion, and a few other experts should say, you should at least attempt to try to have a retirement account by the age of 30. Now, those of you who are over 30, don't panic, don't freak out. You still have time. It won't be as much if you're not making a lot of money over 30 but it's still better than having nothing at all so if you're under 30 start thinking about now and if you're over 30 don't freak out don't panic you still have time just start now this is very important because based on where you live in the world you don't know what's going to happen to you when you get to that age and you can't work anymore are your family still gonna be around to take care of you will there be any social security will there does that not exist in your country who knows you don't know what's going to happen to you Is someone going to steal all your money right before you retire? (laughs) Who knows? You should start thinking about that. I can honestly say I have actually tried to have a retirement fund. Um, I had to keep borrowing. It was a very specific, unique situation that happened to me. I had to use the money for an emergency because I reused all my emergency money. And I used a bit of my travel money. I didn't want to touch the travel money, so I used my retirement money. It was a whole situation. But the point is that I still have that account and I'm still always actively trying to fill it no matter what. I do try very hard now to not touch it and I haven't touched it in like two years. It's not a lot in it right now, but I haven't touched it. I'm so grateful that now I know how to manage myself when an emergency happens and I'm not thinking about touching money that belongs to a different aspect of my life. Okay, so another savings account that I think you should have is just for something big. Now this account, no one knows what it's for. It's not for health. It's not for retirement. It's not to go traveling the world or you know, buying a house or a car and thing. It's just there to be there. You don't know what you're going to use it for. You have no idea where it's going to go and you don't tell no one about it. No one knows about this account. Not your kids, not your house, husband, your wife, friends, no one. This is just an account that sits there just to be there. Don't use it for emergencies or anything. Now, the reason why I say you should have this account that's just there to be there is because, one, it doesn't hurt to have another account. Duh. But two, it doesn't hurt that when life gives you lemons, that you can make more than just lemonade. You can have a lemonade stand, build on that, make a lemonade factory, start selling it all over the world. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is, if you're just living your life and something comes your way, It's not a business proposal, nothing to do with your health, retirement, or anything like that. You want to be able to say you got money to do it so you're not borrowing from your travel account, this account, that account, emergency account. This is just something to do big. Pretty much this one is just to be prepared for anything. This can even be an account that you can add on to your other savings accounts. Let's say your emergency account is gone. Dang. Now you got to borrow from another account because another emergency arises and you have money to put into it. This account, other than being for something you don't know, can also act as a backup account. So this is all the extra loose change or loose money or random things that you get. And the very last account is fun money. Now this one is specifically for you to do whatever you want impulsively. You're walking around minding your own business and then bam, you see an ad for something that you want, but you think, dang, that's a lot of money or dang, that's only $5, but you really shouldn't spend it. But boom, you got a savings account that's specifically geared for all of those impulses. So that way you're not really impulse buying and then regretting it later. 
relater, <laughs> later, <laughs> you're actually using money that you already set aside for you to just dove into fun things. So you're going out with the girls, going out with the fellas, boom, you got your fun money account specifically so you know how much money you can spend. So if you got $80 in that account, it's only the third of the month, maybe use it wisely. <laughs> maybe think about, hey, you know, these people want to go out every single weekend this, every single weekend this month. So that means you need to know you got $80. It's only the third, fifth, sixth of the month. So you got like $20 to spend every single week for just you. If you got $800 in there, you know how much you can spend for that month. I'm just saying, this account is very important because this actually helps you not overspend. If you have a separate card for just things that you want to do to have impulsive fun with, I highly recommend that. I do it myself. That way I never overspend anything. It's a, And by the way, it's a debit card, not a credit card. So when you swipe and it declines, you know funds over until the next month. <laughs> now, these are all my tips and things that I do myself, even if I'm failing at it momentarily. The point is, is that you actually have these available to you and you always know it and you always know what you're trying to do. So if you already have a similar system to this, comment down below. Tell me how you figured this out. If this is something you think you can really try to do, let me know as well. I'm telling you, I will love you even more than I already do. That's the end of this video and do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm telling you, it's a really, really good thing to do in addition to your savings. <laughs> All right, ciao.